Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to do a video all about being in a relationship with a flight attendant. So I'm going to invite my husband into the frame. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, and we're going to do a video together. So we're going to do a little Q&A and most of the questions that I'm going to be asking are from you guys that you've asked and that you've commented in previous videos and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited to make this video for you guys. Before we get into the questions, it's probably best for us to give you a little brief history on our relationship and me becoming a flight attendant and where we were in our relationship and all that kind of jazz. So Brayden, take it away. When we were first dating, um, we were both in jobs that we didn't love really. We were both kind of like <laughs> in that stage in our life where we were fairly young and thinking, you know, what do we want to do with our lives, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I remember when we were dating, you had a vision board mm. and on that vision board, you had, you know, a picture of a flight attendant. And so obviously early on, I saw that was one of your dreams and goals mm. and so, um, yeah, we knew pretty early on that, that was something you wanted to do. And so, yeah, I definitely want to support you in that. So then, yeah, we were dating. You obviously found the job. Um, or sorry, I you found applied you applied it. for the job. Yeah, yeah. And I remember when we were dating, um, I actually even helped you with your little video. Part of the Actually. application process, there was a video she had to make, um, which was really fun to make together. Yeah, we were stoked to, you know, when you actually got, you landed the job at your airline. I think you were really actually concerned that this would really affect our relationship. I remember we had dinner one night and you sat down with me and I, I don't know if you were even crying or like you were really concerned about- <laughs> I don't about, remember this, really. Yeah, it was at, um, was it, what's it called, TGIF? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You sat down and you're like, um, Brayden, this is really like important to me. I really want to be a flight attendant, um, but you're really scared about, you know, if I'd if I'd if I'd run away or something. So Brie was in ground school when I uh, popped the question, and we were engaged. And then yeah, I guess the rest is history. Is there anything I've missed missed out on? Anything else we should say? Um, how long now has it been? So. Um, we've been married. For we've been married for three, three years. years. So you've been a flight attendant for more like, than almost that. Four, almost four. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's our story. <laughs> so let's get um, to the questions. Let's get into the questions. Okay. First question: Does Brayden feel lonely when you are on trips? Do I feel lonely when you're on trips? Yes and no. It depends. Usually, so for those who don't know, I'm a videographer. Um, so usually I'm very busy. So when Bree's on a trip, it's often like. Yeah, I get some time to edit. <laughs> so it de just room. depends, like, yes and no. Like, yeah. I usually find that I, just, I use it as productivity time. So yeah. it's not usually a problem. I'm not like at home thinking, where's my wife? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I'm so lonely. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, no, like it's, it's it I is what it is. You get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to feel lonely, you know? Mm. So yeah, I guess you've answered the next question. How does he deal with that? So you just said that you keep busy, keep productive. Mm. Yeah. Um, next question. What is the percentage of the month you are usually away from each other pre pandemic versus post pandemic? Pre pandemic, I would say I would be away maybe like two to 10 nights a month. Yeah, to be honest, I've kind of forgotten what it's like because you really are home a lot now. Like to... from pandemic onwards, you've really been home a lot. Yeah. Like, cause those, you probably know Brie has, you know, another role in her company where she does videos as well. And so that means you're working a lot more of a nine to five, Monday to Friday type of role usually. So yeah. that's been really good. It's fit in well with what I do. So he loves I it. really enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm, we're going to talk more about that, I'm sure. But, probably, yeah. Um, but yeah, you definitely have yeah. been home a lot more. But maybe this is why I'm like, Oh, going on trips is fine. I've forgotten all about yeah. it. <laughs> so, it's a good time to record the video. Yeah. No. Next question. Does he feel like he's missing out on going to different cities or cute little holidays with you? Um, not necessarily. Like maybe because you're not an international flight attendant, it's kind mm. of like, oh yeah, like Australia, like it's cool, but it's not yeah. like, oh wow, you're going to Japan or you're going to yeah. America or like, I don't know. So if you were like, international i'd probably be a bit more jealous but it's kind of like oh sydney gold coast like cans like yeah, oh sure local, like yeah. yeah we can go anytime it just feels like yeah. next door you know what does brayden think are the best and worst things about being married to a flight attendant so best and worst things let's start with the worst okay the worst thing about being married to a flight attendant let's not say the worst because let's just let's, let's just list let's some do negatives pros and cons pros and cons because like it's hard to think of the worst but yeah okay some bad things that i don't love Got is that. lack of routine so mm. i am a person who would prefer to have a routine like we go to bed at the same time every night wake up yeah. at the same time every day we go work out or whatever like i like yeah. have, i would love to have like a 
this is our life, this is the perfect day, and repeat that. Yeah. Where for us, it's been very like, oh, we have to go to bed early this night, or hey, we can stay up late this night because you're coming home really late. Or like, it's been very all over the place. Mm. And for me, that's something I don't really love. Like, I wish we could just have a bit more like, um, predictability in our mm. every week like for, even for example like, it's hard to even plan meals mm. because we don't know well we do know but it's not like most couples can kind of you know if they work full-time Monday to Friday you know they know they're gonna have potentially have dinner together every night so mm. they know okay cool let's go shop for the week and let's prepare our meals and like for us it's kind of like oh you're away like how many nights and like we need to have dinner together this night and then oh, we cook this night, but then you don't actually get to eat any of the, oh, it's just like all over the place. Yeah. It's hard to really have, because it's so, what happens is we often just eat out or yeah. we don't have like a very good pattern yeah. of food and sleep. Yeah, because we like to go to bed together and we like to eat dinner together. So when the schedule is a bit crazy, yeah, it makes it a bit hard yeah. for that to happen. So if like, for example, you have a crazy week, then that means we want to eat to get dinner together. So we just go eat, take out together, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and stay up late together. So yeah, so that's one of the bad things is just the routine is not necessarily what I would like, but mm. some of you might like that kind of lifestyle, which is great, you know, yeah. it has its pros as well. So um, the other bad thing I think is that, especially when you're away a lot, I remember I've been to a lot of family events without you and it's been really weird and awkward, yeah, like so going to family dinners or family parties or events and everyone's like, oh, where's Brie? Like, you don't really tell them that you're away. Like, maybe <laughs> just tell them that you're <laughs> not gonna be there and it's less weird. <laughs> anyway, so that's been a bit of a, oh, like it would be nice if, you know, you could be around to come to things with me mm. so I don't have to show up alone. So yeah. sometimes I'll even not show up just because you're not gonna go. Like, I don't know, I try and make True, an effort. Yeah. I try and make an effort to go, but yeah, yeah, it's just a bit sad. Some of the best things, obviously like discounted flight travel, you know, that's always gonna be a pro, <laughs> like probably the main, main yeah. thing that you like. Yeah, that's um, right. Even like, I really like that you get free airport parking as well. I don't yeah. know if every flight attendant gets that, but that comes in handy. Like if we're ever gonna go on a holiday, we can always, take a car and park at the airport, mm -hmm. um, probably save a lot of money. Yeah, like, definitely. I forget what normal people do, like it's people like actually pay parking. A day yeah. Or something. yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. So that's really nice having airport parking. Yeah. Um, yeah, travel benefits. Mm -hmm. And I mean, probably the best thing is that you're just doing something you enjoy, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah, thanks babe. <laughs> Dream husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, another question is, does it bother him when you have to wake up early for work? For example, trying to be quiet as you get ready. <laughs> bother you or am I pretty quiet? It's not as bad as you'd think. Like what bothers me most more so is if I need to go to bed and you're up late. <laughs> <laughs> if Bree wakes up early in the morning, I wake up a little bit, but it's fine. I can usually get back to sleep. It's fine mm. if I need to sleep in a bit yeah. more. Like that's not the really big problem. So no, it's not really that bad. What is some advice you would give someone who is worried about their spouse cheating? This can go both ways as well. Like mm. not necessarily like the flight attendant cheating, cheating but, but also but the, one, the at one at home can cheat as well. And I've definitely had, you know, people I work with where that's happened. So mm. um, yeah, what's some advice? <laughs> <laughs> Um, trust each other? Yeah, I like, it just I don't comes know. down to trusting your partner. I never even thought about that. Like, yeah. which is good, right? I don't know. Let's say I'm married to you and you're not a flight attendant. And then you say, hey, I want to be a flight attendant. And then you start becoming a flight attendant. The first thing in my mind isn't like, oh no, I'm scared. I don't want you to be a flight attendant because you might cheat on me. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, there's probably opportunities to do that. But yeah. I think it, it, sorry, that's a relationship problem. Like you're gonna have to sort that out <laughs> with your relationship. Yeah. <laughs> like if, if you don't trust no each other, trust, yeah. then probably don't be a flight attendant. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you just have to trust each other. This, this is like a marriage Mar advice marriage question. Counseling. And I can't really <laughs> like, I'm not a marriage counselor. We um, change this to like marriage Q and A. Yeah, seriously. Like. But I don't know. Like, what's something that we vlogging's good because I see what you're doing <laughs> on your vlogs. So <laughs> I don't know. Cool. Next question is, how do you guys stay connected when you are apart? Yeah, like if it's just during the day, we might send a text or two or something. Usually, usually you'll tell me when you're on your way home, things like that. Mm. If it's more of a, if it's a layover, like a night or two, then yeah, we usually try and like FaceTime and you know, catch up before bed. Like, usually like when you're going to sleep, it's usually a good time. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a tradition that we have is 
Whenever I'm on a layover, we usually FaceTime, which is really good. Yeah, if it's like a special event that you're missing, like we've done like, we watch movies together on Netflix yeah. together at the same time, have yeah. little dates and dinner dates. Little and... dates, like I was away once for Valentine's Day. I think it's in one of my vlogs. Yeah, I'll try and link it, it but. <laughs> Um, yeah, we just watched a movie together. This vlog here. And we just FaceTimed each other while we were watching a movie. And we both ordered Uber Eats as well. So yeah, yeah just being creative, I guess. All right, um, next question is, have you ever come on a plane with me? Yes. While I'm working? Yes. I don't think many times, maybe twice. Yeah. Maybe three times, no, no more than three. So it's not often, like it's fun, but not often. And it's usually if you're like coming on a layover with me or yeah. like something like that. Yeah, it's not really like, oh, I just happened to be on your flight. It's sort yeah. of intentional. But it's so fun. Like the very first time, um, you were so embarrassed. Yeah. And I was like, was like taking photos and, and filming like, you doing the whole like, <laughs> you know, demo. safety demo. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, so embarrassing. Ugh. I was trying not to like laugh in front of everyone because they're obviously all looking at me do the safety demo and Brayden was in the back. And I find it a bit embarrassing because like, you know, I get a bit more special treatment being the husband, like you yeah. might give me a few snacks or something or a bottle of water. And like, I just feel embarrassed because like everyone around me is not getting the special treatment. So <laughs> you should just give everyone that rose. Just, good. Yeah. It's like that they have benefited from it. Yeah, it's a good idea. And then, yeah, next question kind of follows along. Like, have you ever been on a layover together? Yes, not many. Not many. Yeah. But we're hoping to. So um, I've recently quit my nine to five. So I'm going to be a bit more free to do fun things like that. So yeah. I'm looking forward to, you know, going on some layovers, some little yeah. free holidays yeah. for one night or whatever it is. And yeah, and one, yeah for yeah. one night. And I've got a bunch of layovers coming up actually. So you might see Brayden in a few of my vlogs coming up. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos. If you were international, yeah, would you have several days there? Yeah. Or is, really? Usually, yeah. Sometimes no it's way. 24 hours is usually the minimum, I think. Like yeah, Bali, I was in Bali for three days when what? I went there. So you're telling me that if you get a Bali flight, I can come and we can stay for like two nights. Potentially, yeah. Depends what the pairings are, but yeah. What? That's so good. <laughs> so how do you get more of those trips? Well, I can do VGs now. Can you bid for them or how's it work? Yeah, I just bid for them. <laughs> you won. <laughs> <laughs> Bid for them, come on. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. next roster. Maybe you'll see us in Fiji. <laughs> Here's another question. What is something that flight attendants can do to help relationships? Check what's relationship. some like what's some advice that you would give to like someone who is dating a flight attendant or or a flight attendant who's dating someone, you know, like vice versa? Yeah, great question. So my advice to um, I'll start with flight attendants first. My advice to flight attendants dating someone that's not a flight <laughs> attendant, which is probably the case, is to, yeah, I think make an effort to find out how the other person's feeling about, you know, how they're enjoying the time apart, if mm. it's something that is difficult for them, and then try and find ways to make that work. Or like for me, you know that I quite enjoy it because I get to edit. So <laughs> yeah, I am the type of person who really values that their time alone, which is good, it works for me. And then when we are together, we try and make sure we make that count. Um, yeah. And I think like, um, sorry, just kind of off topic. I think as well, like spending time apart makes you cherish the time that you have together. So like, I know like pre pandemic and stuff, like like when I was away, like I missed you more. Yeah, now, we, now we're together all the time. We're sick of each other and yeah, we're gonna kill each other and we're ready hate to each go. other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then my advice to people dating or married to a flight attendant, you've probably already figured out this already, but I think my advice is to try and make an effort to be interested in what they're doing. Mm. Like, um, I know I'm guilty sometimes that I don't, and I know that- No, you're good. I, I, you know like all about one R and Okay, well, yeah, and like, yeah, be interested. He knows the lingo, which yeah, I learn the lingo. really like- How many sectors did you have yeah. today? <laughs> Which I think is, is really nice because it shows that they care about what you do. And but yeah, it's nice, you know, I think my advice is, yeah, make an interest in what they're doing and ask about their flights and ask about anything that's happening. Mm. Um, yeah, which is probably all standard boring things you probably know anyway. But <laughs> other advice is, uh, one challenging thing is with your annual leave, like it's, yeah. booked, it's booked well in advance. Yet one time a year you get to kind of bid for what you want for the next year. Yeah. And so for me, in a normal job, I was able to just kind of 
take leave whenever I felt like it. Mm. And so we have to really kind of plan in advance. So yeah. my advice is to couples is kind of plan in advance, you know, what your life's gonna look like in 12 months ahead or whatever it is ahead, kind of discuss, you know, when you might wanna go on some holidays or things like that. And so you can align your schedules because we've had moments where ours weren't aligned and it was yeah. a bit challenging. Yep. So planning in advance is great. <laughs> yes. Or oh, even other piece of advice is Flight attendants, please, every time you get a roster, send a screenshot to your significant other, your partner, whoever it is. Um, because I find I dislike asking all the time, like, oh, are you working this day? Are you working mm. this day? We're trying to plan just social activities or other things. Yeah. So it's nice to just be able to look back. Oh, there's the roster. I can see when you're available, when you're, when you're, when you're flying and whatnot. So yeah. that's a good little tip, you know, share your roster. Cool. Well, yeah, that, we're just going to wrap this video up. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and maybe we might do a part two. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I feel you, like we've answered all the questions, yeah. but I don't know if there's more, let us know. If you like seeing me in these videos, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> yeah, we can bring Braden on again. If you want me to start a YouTube channel, let me know. <laughs> Jokes. If you want me to start vlogging, just kidding. <laughs> Cool, well, we're, yeah, we're gonna wrap up this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>